breaking, breaking, Jesse Smollett vindicated, and an R. Kelly comparison. Now let's get to it. Illinois Supreme Court overturning the conviction of hate boxer Jussie Smollett, ruling that special prosecutor's decision to retry the Empire actor violated his rights. After left-wing Cook County, Illinois DA Kim Fox gave Smollett a sweetheart deal and dropped the charges. We were the ones that did it. Yeah, it was us. It was a crazy scene that Jussie put on. He even said, I would not be my mother's son if I was capable of one drop of what I was accused of. I'm like, man, you ain't your mother's son, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Better get that birth certificate yeah, right. <laughs> Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mix. Like this video, share this video. Thank you guys for tuning in to my channel. If you are interested in donating, hit that cash out. It's, it's in the description section of this post. Thank you very much in advance. All donations go toward content enhancement creation. Hey, you guys, it's free to like. It is free to share. It is free to subscribe. So go ahead and smash that subscription button. Hit the notification bell for those who um, are subscribed. That way you will be in tune with all the content I drop on my channel. And just like the video, you guys. Share the video. It helps push your girl through the algorithm. Appreciate your support, both domestically and internationally. As you can see, what this video is going to be about. Yes, Juicy Smollett vindicated. What? What? <laughs> you heard the flashback clips in the beginning. And then the most recent clip, I wouldn't call it a, I wouldn't call it vindicated. I would just call it eviction overturned, what it is. <laughs> so, but yeah, let me go ahead and head on over to this article I came across to explain more, give more context to this win for Jesse Smollett. Um, as you can see, it was overturned, his conviction overturned in the higher courts in Illinois. I wonder why they didn't keep that same energy for, for Robert Kelly, hence R. Kelly. Yeah, why the courts didn't keep the same energy for Mr. Robert Kelly overturned his federal conviction you know mr robert kelly's constitutional rights in my opinion was violated so but yeah you guys <laughs> i digress it's all from the same state so i'm just looking at the illinois appellate courts like huh huh y'all overturned this <laughs> but you didn't overturn mr robert kelly so let me go ahead and head on over to this article and then i'll come back with my final thoughts opinion and reaction Okay, everyone, I'm citing from APNews.com. Jesse Smollett's conviction in the 2019 attack on himself is overturned. Oh. I guess they say how the saying goes, justice delayed is, doesn't mean justice denied. <laughs> okay, let me jump down here. Okay, and this is Springfield, Illinois AP. The Illinois Supreme Court on Thursday overturned actor Jesse Smollett's conviction on charges of staging a R-A-C-I-S-T and H-O-M-O uh, attack against himself in 2019 and lying to Chicago police saying he should not have been charged a second time after reaching a deal with prosecutors. So you guys, just to add context to this, again, Jussie Smollett, probably in his mind, he was vindicated. You know, Jussie Smollett, Juicy Smollett, a.k.a. the G-A-Y Tupac, as he called himself in the beginning. Woo, sheesh. Woo, dudes take his, took his acting role seriously. But anyway, so thus far, what this means is that the higher courts said that he, um, his constitutional rights was violated so seems like it was double jeopardy to my understanding okay let me continue the ruling which did not address Smollett's continued claims of innocence see the ruling doesn't address innocence the ruling is centered around constitutional rights did the prosecutors violate his rights and so in this instance according to the outcome of the uh, Illinois appellate court yes they did violate his constitutional rights meaning the um, lower courts the prosecutors AKA Kim Fox. <laughs> She's a mess. And I, I was rooting for her for her back then, but oh gosh, when she anyway, let me continue. So um the ruling which did not address Smollett's continued claims of innocence was the latest twist in a years long saga. Smollett, who is black and G-A-Y made headlines around the world after he told police in January of 2019 that two men assaulted him in the downtown Chicago neighborhood, spouting slurs, tossing a N-O-O-S-E 
around his neck and yelling that he was MAGA country and a parent reference to Donald Trump's Make America Great Again presidential campaign slogan. And that was back then when he was running for president the second time around. Okay, the um, article further cites the report prompt a massive search for suspects by Chicago police before investigators announced that they believe the attack was a hoax. The article further cites the state's highest court found that a special prosecutor should not have been allowed to intervene after Smollett reached a deal with the Cook County State's Attorney, aka y'all Kim Fox, who to my understanding is supposed to be retired or has retired, something like that. Okay, the article for cites in which charges against him were dropped in exchange for 414, his 10K bond, and performing community services. Service. The deal prompts outrage in part because it did not include any condition that Smollett apologized or admit he staged the attack. The article further cites, we are aware that this case has generated significant public interest and that many people were dissatisfied with the resolution of the original case and believe it to be unjust. Justice Elizabeth Rochford wrote in the court's 5-0 opinion. I mean, all of them agree. All the justices agree. All five of them. Okay. Nevertheless, that would be more unjust than the resolution of any one criminal case would be a holding from this court. The state was not bound to honor agreements upon which people have detrimentally relied. Mole was on the television drama Empire, which filmed in Chicago and prosecutors alleged he staged the attack because he was unhappy with the studio's response to hate mail he received testimony a trial indicate indicated he paid 3500 to two men which i showed you guys in the beginning <laughs> those two guys um who men whom he knew from empire to carry it out smollett testified that there was no hoax and that he was a victim of a hate crime the article for the site smollett dis, smollett declined to comment thursday through a public his attorney ning Ningi Yuch says Smollett was happy and relieved, but also disappointed to have been dragged through an unfair process. Let me just jump in really quickly. He act like he got found not guilty. I mean, conviction overturned, yes, but <laughs> I guess this is a guilt, a, a not guilty land for him. Okay, the article further cites, even though this is over now and Jesse just absolutely wants to move his life forward, people should start asking questions. How did this? How did this happen? Why should this even happen? What can we do to make sure this doesn't happen again? Ooch said at a news conference in Chicago. The special prosecutor, former U.S. Attorney Dan Webb, said he disagreed with the court's ruling while noting that it has nothing to do with Mr. Smollett's innocence, which you don't. <laughs> the court's ruling, higher courts in Illinois, said nothing about his innocence. Anyway, okay, the article for the sites, the Illinois Supreme Court did not find any error with the overwhelming evidence presented at trial that Mr. Smollett orchestrated a fake HATE crime and reported it to the Chicago Police Department as a real hate crime or the jury's unanimous verdict that Mr. Smollett was guilty of five counts of felony disorderly conduct, Webb said. After Cook County State's Attorney Kim Fox office dropped the initial 16 counts of disorderly conduct, the backlash was swift, with then Mayor Rahm Emanuel calling it a whitewash of justice. Webb was appointed special prosecutor and a grand jury restored charges, leading to Smollett's 2021 conviction on five counts of disorderly conduct. Smollett was sentenced to 150 days in jail, six of the six of which he served before he was freed pending appeal and was ordered to pay about 130k in restitution. Chicago officials are pursuing reimbursement for that amount and police overtime through a civil case. Fox told the Associated Press that she was not surprised that the higher court found her handling of the case proper, if unpopular, proper. She criticized Webb's ensuing legal machinations which she said ignored the tenets of prosecutorial discretion and landed the issue in the same position we were in March 2019. Hey everyone, so what are your thoughts? Drop some comments in the chat. Keep it respectful and peaceful. And don't forget to smash that like and share this video. Push your girl through the algorithm. Okay, you can head back on over to that article. Read it in, in its entirety, APnews.com. I did not read the whole article. Um, but yeah, so Juicy Smollett vindicated. Eh, I wouldn't say so much. What it is, you guys, that the Illinois Supreme Court felt that the prosecutors got it wrong. That they error, that they made a mistake and violated Jesse Smollett's constitutional rights. So, the justice's 5 to 0 opinion did not speak to if Juicy was innocent or guilty. It spoke to his constitutional rights being violated. And usually, you guys, when things are up for appeal, any type of case, when it goes up to the appeals court, whether it be on a local level or federal level, what they're looking for is constitutional violations. Did the prosecutors do their job correctly and prosecute this case fairly for the audit of the case? So, again, they did not speak to his innocence. They, they did not speak to that at all. So... Um, he was convicted, but it was overturned by Illinois Supreme Court because 
the prosecutor's error. Yeah, so let me know your thoughts down in the chat and I will add to this, you guys. So agree with him, by the way, uh, maybe on popular opinion and I'm not a fan of Juicy Smollett. <laughs> but the prosecutor at the time in 2019 is was Kim Fox, Chicago State's attorney and she's a trash, in my opinion, as State's attorney. I was rocking with her or with her as you want to say or quote unquote, I was rooting for her, you know. I was rooting for, you know, the black sister. But when I started to notice how she was prosecuting cases and allowing real criminals to just skate, I'm just like, she's cherry picking things. I just didn't understand her method to her madness, in my opinion. And I just thought that she was grossly either being handled from a prosecutorial spec perspective or very incompetent. And this is just my opinion. So um, to my understanding, also to ask you that she's allegedly affiliated with Juicy Smollett. Yes, meaning that's borderline conflict of interest, meaning that he should not initially handle this case at all. It should have been sent to a special prosecutor because of her quote unquote alleged connection to Juicy Smollett, meaning that she knows someone that knows someone or she's friends with um, someone in the White House. And I think they all run in the same circles from the Obamas, Kim Fox, um, someone else that worked in the White House, either Kamala, something like that. Allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. So with that being said, if there was a great conflict of interest, she should not have to taken this. And the charges that she gave or she administered to Juicy Smollett initially, it was like a slap on the wrist. It was. And then that's when outrage ensued here in Chicago. And then a special prosecutor was appointed and that prosecutor recharged him. So with that being said, honestly, this is all, in my opinion, Kim Fox's fault. <laughs> because if she would have recused herself uh, in the beginning none of this would be. The Illinois Supreme Court did not speak to his innocence. It spoke to how his rights were violated. And if your rights are violated, convictions can be overturned. Whatever whatever level um, someone pushes it up to the higher courts for from what the lower courts did or what the prosecutors did. So yeah, there you have it. There you have it. But I do agree with the Illinois Supreme Court. It's borderline double jeopardy-ish. I wish they had the same energy for Mr. Robert Kelly because I too think that his um, case in Illinois was BS from a federal level and that his conviction should have been over return as well but they rejected that y'all saw my r kelly videos matter of fact i'll put the playlist in the description section of this post but i have my reasons you guys as to why i just think that it was in my opinion double jeopardy when it came to mr robert kelly so like this video share this video i hope it's all it's making sense to you guys uh, fight for your rights i don't care whatever level it's on or at fight for your rights we all have rights those who are legal tax paying citizens here in the united states of america thank you guys for tuning in and i will talk to you all soon bye